Duck Rabbit specializes in dark beer. Uh, we make four year-round dark beers and then seasonal specialties. Something that when we started, you know, the conventional wisdom was very much that uh, in the southeast, people only want to drink relatively light-bodied, you know, refreshing beers. It seemed to me that that was a mistake, that there was an underserved market for, you know, dark beers among craft beer consumers, which are the only people who are going to buy our beers anyway, really. Uh, people are drinking in air conditioning indoors. The fact that it's hot out, I don't think affects uh, these people's beer choices all that much. I wanted, I wanted to occupy a niche within the market, something that made us different from everybody else. Um, not, I mean, there are all kinds of people doing great things, and it just doesn't make sense to me to duplicate what they're doing. So this seemed like an opportunity to specialize give us a point of reference, you know, something for people to hang their hat on. Oh, duck beer, duck rabbit beer. They're the dark beer specialists. Uh, everybody already kind of understands what dark beer is, you know, that's in their vocabulary. Uh, it's a specialization without feeling like a gimmick, without feeling like something empty and hollow. Uh, so that, you know, we just started doing it. As it turns out, Milk Stout became our most popular beer. So. That's our flagship. We never necessarily intended that. You know, we just put out our four year round beers, and that's the one that really kind of rose to the top and stayed at the top year round. Uh, no matter how hot it gets, that's our top seller. So I'm, I'm pleased as can be. I think that really sets us apart and works for us. The, the logo, which um, I don't know if you can see on the thing here, it looks like a duck if you look at it one way, it looks like a rabbit if you look like look at it another way. That was made famous in a book called Philosophical Investigations by someone called Ludwig Wittgenstein, a book that I very much admire. And you know, when I started my own company, I I wanted to have a point of reference to my old life, you know, some point of contact. I wanted it to look cool, and I wanted to have a story to, to answer people when they say where the name come from. You know, not just, oh, I came up with it out of nothing, but that there's something to it. So that's where the name and the logo comes from.